last week's episode, I sailed from West End all the way to Hope Town in the Abacos. I had an amazing three days at sea. Well, on this uh, cloudy and particularly cold of all things, Bahamian day, uh, I'm at the airport and I'm at the airport to pick up Therese, who after three months of skirting around Australia, should hopefully be finally coming back. So, yeah. Here we are. She's had five flights to catch in the last two days. So she's gonna be jet lagged to high heaven and uh, probably in need of a beer and a good night's sleep. We got beer, we got, um, yep, Coca Cola, ice, ice, glasses, ginger beer, and. Proper beer, not that bush that I bought. Yeah, that's right, that's all. Um, and all the other essentials. So, where are we going now? We're going to Hope Town? Hope Yep, heading to Hope Town, and I think we're going to meet up with Tula's Endless Summer that we bumped into last night in a bar. Why we bought the beer because I'm so embarrassed that Yeah, exactly. Beer. We can't be serving up that shit beer to anyone. I mean, I'll barely drink it, but I'm too embarrassed to give it to anyone else. And um, this is what happens when I leave Nick in charge of doing the brick provisioning. He just loses his mind and buys like cheap beer, which clearly would never have happened if I'd been there. Um, so, yeah, and I don't know. We're going to hope going to Hope Town, and then I'm not sure. We're just we're in the Abacos for like the next six weeks, so I feel really uh, chilled out about our plans. Good. So we're just doing a quick little motor to Hope Town. Um, it's only about five miles away, but we are motoring directly into the wind, so it's probably going to take us, I don't know, maybe about an hour and a half. Um, we're only doing about 3.7 knots at the moment, so yeah, not going too fast, but we're not in a rush, so that's okay. The weather is beautiful, apart from it's a little bit on the cold side, which I was not expecting for some reason. It's not, like people told me that Abacos was not necessarily very hot in the winter months although we are kind of past winter now but anyway i had heard that the abacos was a little bit chilly sometimes but um i didn't believe it <laughs> i think that after two years in the caribbean i just could not get my head around somewhere in the caribbean not being really hot and humid so anyway i don't even know if the abacos and the bahamas are in the caribbean technically i'm not sure anyway nick is down below just having a little chill out session he's on his ipad i think he's on the internet um just kind of having a bit of a break after solo sa sailing for the last i don't know three weeks he's been doing it all on his own so yeah today he gets a rest and i get to get the boat from a to b so yeah very happy to be back um it was a bit of a slog getting myself back to the boat from Australia. Um, it was five flights, which I did over three days. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a prolonged journey. 
um, but you know, had to be done. And I got back to the boat in the end, so yeah, all good. So I've been back for a couple of days now, and I don't know, I'm just at home, back home in my happy place with Nick. So life is very, very, very good right now. Life is perfect. Very happy. who Nick was trying to be just What's now. Up, <laughs> Comment down below if you can work out who he was trying to be. It was so a terrible impression. What are we doing? Uh, we are... What are you talking about? Well, we've bumped into our Toolers Endless Summer again. We've bumped into our Toolers Endless Summer. We've bumped into ours now that we've claimed them as part of the Borg. Uh, anyway, we've bumped into Toolers Endless Summer and they've invited us to an awards ceremony for a race they were partaking in today. So we're crashing party. We're just, yeah, we're, we're gate crashing. I have already have... Sorry. I've already got my rum and coke. Yeah. Despite the fact that you've banned me from drinking rum. And it's a big rum. <laughs> so what happened the last time I went to an awards so many where I drank rum? Uh, I think I'm be, being very, very sick in our heads and then passing out. No, that wasn't an awards so many. Uh, oh yeah, you heckled the Venus um, of Tourism. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Oh, I better put the camera down on the one that's gonna really stop this up. Okay, can we have your attention please? Because we have uh, quite a few. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Paddy Lava, our rear Commodore, who's gonna talk about uh, what's going on today. Good afternoon everybody. Our last race, wow. Um, today, let's uh, thank uh, Commodore David Hanford and wife Patty. Yeah. Mark and Patty Gonzalez. Yeah. In <laughs> sixth place Timing's everything. was Colin Buckingham. Just so everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get a in, sixth, in sixth place was Sunbeam. Yeah. Oh. In fourth place was Grumpy Old Men. Yeah. And in third place was Sunrise. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We will now be back every week with both our video episodes and also some more technical episodes. Anyway, 
please feel free to subscribe if you look at the bottom right hand side of the screen there's a little icon if you click that you can subscribe to this channel should you want to we also have social media we have facebook we have twitter we have instagram and now of all things we have snapchat so if you want to see what we're doing when we're not filming please look us up on those four mediums finally we're at the moment running a fantastic competition there's a chance to win some really amazing prizes so if you just click on the more info below you'll be able to find out how to enter that competition anyway we'll see you soon bye bye